between a couple of electrical connections. Now the safest way to do this is by using the U-shaped connectors and obviously a crimping tool to make this work. Once again, we have an in-depth level of BS. The fact of the matter is a crimped on fork connector should never be used in conjunction with a spindle power cable, be it either powering the VFD or powering your spindle motor because those forks can pull out. Watch my explanation in a video overview I've done on ring connector tips. Again, this video is on my channel. I cover it in full depth. And that could be catastrophic. Another question I was just asked is why do I use ring connectors instead of fork connectors? Well, many of you already know that answer. Ring connectors do not pull out. These, once they're attached, the screw goes through the center, and if I went to pull this out, I'm, I'm literally going to have to destroy each lead because these are done with solder and flux. Again, solder, Kester number 44, the flux is Kester 186 RMA, it's the best in the industry, and that is the proper way to do these cables so that, once again, we have proper safety implemented. And I'm going to add some more information that many of you are not going to believe. I couldn't believe this because, again, when it's being brought to this content creator's attention in his own comment section, it's pretty amazing that this guy still posted this video without correcting it after someone left a link to one of my videos. Pretty crazy. It's fact. All right, so I'm on his video, and if we scroll down to the comments section, I want to point out that the audience members, you guys, are getting actually more educated in the topics than the content creators actually making the video. I'm scrolling all the way down to the bottom, and let's start with Roy Tellison. I hope I'm saying his name correctly, where he left the comment, one thing that I would have done differently is to use ring terminals rather than the spade lugs that you use there. These will not, not as bolt type, come off unless the screws are the whole way out, which is what I just explained in my video clip. And what's interesting is, let's read his reply. James Dean Designs. I get that, makes sense. I think getting rings in on this particular model will be a pain to get in with the plates as well, but under some other models I've seen where the ports are more open, it would be easy enough to do. Well, the question is, James, this video shouldn't be based on things that are going to be convenient, but should be based on things done right and most importantly, safe. This gentleman right here hit the nail on the head. Now, what's also interesting is when we scroll all the way down, Randolph 50 typed in Vince's video connecting shielded cable to VFD. 